He called me into his sitting room at Marva House through a translator and asked, showed me some sketches that he had made. <laughs> um, this is a copy. The original is under glass, and I have I gave it to someone to Carl Springer for his birthday years ago. And he told me about a dream that he'd had. He didn't say when he had had it. He just said he'd had a dream that had this flag in it, and wherever the flag was flown, the Dharma would flourish. And could I make one? You know, I said, okay. I'd made all, all the Shambhala flags. I could probably figure out how to make this flag, although easier said than done, the first one. Um, so I uh, grafted out with the help of Michael Levin on a this, this, is the, this is the original <laughs> on this scrap paper um, and brought it back to him and said, is this what you mean? Do you want it to be this symmetrical? And he said, yes. And then told me he wanted a full-size flag, which is four by six, and some smaller ones, 30 by 45. So the first one I made was raised on Midsummer's Day in Boulder. And then um, I heard later from Mitchell Levy that that original flag, which he took with him, and a number of others, was used to wrap his body for transport to Room Tech from Chicago after he died. 